Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the nitty gritty of speaker connections. Whether you're a seasoned audiophile or just getting started with your home audio setup, understanding how to correctly connect your loudspeaker to the amplifier is crucial. So, grab your cables and let's get started. First things first, let's talk about the basics of the connecting your loudspeaker to the amplifier. Most speakers and amplifiers use standard binding posts or terminals for connections. These terminals are typically labeled with positive plus and negative minus symbols, corresponding to the positive and negative terminals on your speaker cables. When connecting your speaker cables, it's essential to ensure a secure and tight connection. Loosen the binding posts on the amplifier. Insert the bare wire or banana plug into the corresponding terminals and tighten the binding post to secure the connection. Repeat this process for each speaker. Now, let's talk about the bi-wiring and bi-amping. Bi-wiring involves using separate cables for the high frequency and low frequency drivers of your loudspeaker, while bi-amping involves using separate amplifiers for these drivers. Bi-wiring is often touted as a way to improve speaker performance by reducing interference between the high and low frequency signals by providing separate paths for each frequency range. Bi-wiring can potentially result in clearer and more detailed sound reproduction. On the other hand, bi-amping takes things a step further by dedicating separate amplifiers to each frequency range. This can provide even greater control and power distribution, resulting in improved dynamics and clarity. So. When should you consider by wiring or by amping your speakers? Well, it ultimately depends on your specific setup and preferences. By wiring may be beneficial if you have high quality speakers with separate crossover networks for the high end and low frequency drivers. However, by amping is typically reserved for more advanced audio systems with dedicated amplifiers for each driver. Now, Let's discuss some common mistakes to avoid when connecting your speakers to the amplifier. One of most common mistakes is using poor quality or too huge size speaker cables. Low quality cables can degrade sound quality and result in signal loss. But oversized cables can be a problem to secure or even short circuit. Another mistake is incorrectly matching the polarity of your speaker cables. Make sure to connect the positive terminal of the amplifier to the positive terminal of the speaker and likewise for the negative terminals. Reversing the polarity can result in phase cancellation and negatively impact sound quality. Finally, be mindful of overloading your amplifier. Make sure to match the power rating of your speakers with the power output of your amplifier to avoid damaging either component. In conclusion, correctly connecting your loudspeaker to the amplifier is essential for achieving optimal sound quality. Whatever you're using standard wiring, Bi-wiring or bi-amping make sure to follow best practice and avoid common mistakes. With the right setup, you'll be able to enjoy your favorite music and movies with the clarity and precision. Thanks for watching and happy listening! Don't forget to like and subscribe for more audio tips and tutorials. Until next time, take care!